Alright guys, I'm going to try to give, do a video here. We had a problem with the microphone, so hence I got the headset on here. First thing I want to do is wish every one of you a very, very blessed Easter Friday uh, and a great weekend and a great blessed Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. Uh, growing up in the Deep South, we did not do Good Friday. We did Easter Monday. So we always got <clears throat> one day off for Easter, which would be the Monday. So they've changed all that and tried to kill out any type of heritage that's <clears throat> not of the norm, and that's what we're going to talk about in a minute, hopefully. Hopefully I can get my point across here with my hair all over the place. Uh, well, first I'm going to talk about Joe and the Bang Bang in the gym. Uh, people are coming in that gym now, other than the ladies and the girls, the boys and the men that are coming in are walking on eggshells, so we know that the video of Joe busting this man up, he was a man, uh, we, we didn't know how old he was, but he's old enough, he's a man, and uh, so purpose served, uh, the boys and the men that are <clears throat> coming in, they're behaving themselves, and they're walking on eggshells. Newsflash to, to the rest of you that don't go in gyms, uh, maybe you go in golds or somewhere where people are just pumping iron and you got a lot of foolish people in there, but you go into a boxing or an MMA gym, uh, you, you better show respect and you better be watching what you're doing. <clears throat> I mean, and we're losing that even. It used to be any gym when I was a kid. All right. So anyway, I want to talk to you guys about a good a good suggestion I want to give you. I'm going to try to lean back here, guys of something that would be great to do over the uh, holidays here. If you have any extra time or you've gotten any uh, time off work. The first thing is pray to and keep in development your, your relationship with the one true Christ. Give thanks for what he did for all of us. Uh, if you're a church goer, go. Uh, cohabitate around the people that you're around. But you need to be aware as a church goer, and you need to fully understand as a church goer, we are in the finishing generation or generations and the bible tells us that there would be a great falling away in the church and if you can't look around and see that something is wrong with you and you may be one of the ones that are mentioned in romans chapter one that god's blinded you himself that you're just blinded and you don't want to be that so try to get your eyes open <clears throat> I suppose if God's blinded you, you're not going to be able to get the eyes open and see real from unreal and black from white or right from wrong or any of the, the, the morals or ethics or truth and light in the, uh, you're just going to see the darkness. But you can try... You know, and we all need to try. And 
what what I want to suggest to everybody to do over the holidays, if you have time, is start looking and digging into conspiracies. We are damned well. Everything people were laughing about 20 years ago is being proven in this decade already up to 2024. Uh, people would laugh at you and call you a nutcase, a conspiracy theorist, and all these people. I may have called, called a fellow or two that. And all these things that have been going around for years have just been coming to light. Uh, this last thing with these rappers, uh, that Sean Combs guy, uh, I'm just sorry as I can be, I'd tell him to his face, if I was going to nickname him, his name would be Skeletor, because he looks like a damn walking corpse. Uh, I can't believe any, any generation would listen to this guy, that it would be appealing for them to watch this guy. Uh, same with the other, the West guy the Kanye West guy I mean you're just listening to a lunatic younger generation out of either one of these guys but go look into this if you go back 10 15 20 years into the 90s when this rap started exploding and whatnot uh, people were talking about that all these guys were homos and blackmailers and just deviant people uh, they were right from the very beginning, they were right. Uh, black people were using rap uh, culturally as an expressive art and expressive to plights that they perceived themselves going through uh, in bad areas that they may have been stuck in and things like that. Uh, uh, but it's turned out, we all know what it is, it's psychological trash being portrayed on people and a lot of blackmail entailed with it. Now on the white side, I'd like to say, I don't know the girl's name. Uh, I, I, I would ask my son at 15, what's that girl's name? But he's not going to know that girl's name because he's not into the trash of, of the day. Uh and if your kid is and knows who all these people are, maybe you should do an assessment there. Uh, just food for thought. Everybody's free. Do what you want to do. But uh, we're choosing to be awakened around here as much as we can. And we try to sift through information and stay away from bad information and run to good information. Uh, and unfortunately, in this in this world today, we are finding that all the crackpots of 25, 30, 50, 70 years ago, they were all right. They were all correct. Uh, your history has been tainted. Uh, people that you call monsters in reality should be called heroes in a lot of history. Uh, people that are called the heroes should be called the monsters in a lot of the history. Uh, I'll give but one example and we'll take it no further. Uh, or I'll get labeled. See, that's how they defend themselves. The, the liars and the propagandists. Who was the first country and country's leader to order bombing civilian populations? To just go in and start bombing neighborhoods. The first bombs that were ordered to be dropped on civilian neighborhoods just to indiscriminately kill civilians came from Winston Churchill. Probably the only thing that I would be with Obama in was when he took the bus to Churchill down out of his office. Anything else, I'm total polar opposite to that evil thing, but I that I would have done. 
if I had been elevated to the Oval Office. Uh, but I know uh, a good amount of history as opposed to the normal guy. See, I got a, deg uh, a degree in history. Uh, and most of that, I just hate that I worked so hard because uh, unlike you guys today that are student debt forgiveness and all this, I paid as I went. It took me years to get uh, uh, to get a degree. Years, many years. Uh, I paid as I went. I worked and paid as I went. Uh, credit hour by credit hour. I mean, that's how I did it. Uh, but generally, it was three credit hours by three credit hours. Uh, I don't even know what the hell they do now. I don't care what they do. It's not in any of my involvement or anything. But I would suggest that you go look because you look at look at what's just in the news today. And the reason why I'm mentioning is because it's in the news today. Uh all this stuff and what does the rapper thing look like it looks like the other one is married to the beyonce guys fixing to be exposed right with the uh sean cones uh they're, they're all fixing to fall apart and be exposed and they should because it's shitty music designed to make shitty people uh well, we ain't got nothing else to listen to. Yeah, you do, at least while the Internet's available right now. Go back and listen to 1970s music. You'll get everything. And you will get good, decent music. And it ain't like you've been sitting around, young person, and listening to it and have done wore it out on a record player or anything. Uh, it'll be new to you. Uh... The white girl, the one that's hanging all over that Kansas City Chiefs uh, injection idiot. Uh, I look at her; she's another Skeletor. I, I can't, I can't imagine a grown man or a boy lusting after that thing. She is just ruined, totally ugly to me, and. Uh, uh, I want to say this to you young people. You, you, you'll look at somebody today. I was already an adult uh, when Madonna hit the scene. Um, I remember I was sitting over at a friend's house and this new thing came on called MTV. And it said, this, uh, we just heard this song. It was called Borderline. And we're seeing this real pretty blonde dancing, you know, uh, not clothesless like later on, not full-blown whore yet, at least not that we were seeing. And we're sitting around as the guys, but I guess it's a Saturday or Sunday, we weren't working or going to school, so we're sitting around, us, us guys, and she comes on and we're like, Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful girl. Where did she come from? Uh, or maybe the song was Holiday. Yeah, it was Holiday. And uh, which was her, I guess, her breakout song. Then Borderline and another song came. And then Full Blown AIDS Whore came. Uh, which we're going to talk about AIDS in a second. Pertaining to boxing. <laughs> Rocky, come on now. Uh, Madonna came out. Everybody's freaking out. Oh, my God, this girl's so beautiful. In six months, we were like, what were we thinking? This, She's, she's a dog, a filthy dog. And nobody liked her. Uh, no, nobody that was remotely educated... And remotely with the reality going on around them liked her. Her popularity grew 
But as it was growing, we were looking and saying, what the hell do we see in this thing? Uh, but the general populace, the useful idiots, they went right on and made a star out of her. Uh, so what I would suggest to that you do is uh, look into the Kennedy assassination. Just start looking into things. The Kennedy assassination is a good thing when you got time to look into because anybody that looks at that assassination is, you know, I lived it. I lived it. Uh, all this stuff was fresh off the press or the uh, for paper, newspaper press or the books, see. And we knew something was wrong. We knew and we didn't have a film to look at like you guys have. Uh, but it's good to look at the Kennedy assassination because a... Dallas reporter, a local TV station, uh, not an announcer in the station, but a lowly field guy, uh, reporter, outside reporter, street reporter, street beat reporter, uh, named Dan Rather, who ended up uh, anchoring CBS News for, what, 25, 35 years? That's how you get those jobs. You lie. Uh, we had Honest Cronkite before him. He was nothing but a bleeding liar, too. Uh, but the Kennedy assassination is good because you get to see a young Dan Rather telling you that the president's body moved in the opposite direction that it did move and trying his damnedest because they did not show the Zapruder film for many years. Uh, it was under it was purchased by Time Life magazine, and I believe they let ten reporters in to see it. And why would they let a beat reporter, just a lowly street reporter in Dallas, go in there and be one of the ten that looked at this film? Uh, I'll tell you why. He got a lot of promises to lie, and he did lie, and he was a liar all the way through. Uh, all the way through to being the major CBS newsman. And that's how you, that's an interesting aspect, and there's hundreds of more aspects to look at, but then you also get to look at uh, little propaganda sources that are slung into the Kennedy assassination that are just so outlandish, it will try to get you from looking at the real things that were that were and still are very plausible but they'll throw these nuggets in there that are not plausible under any circumstance and they'll try to label the people that are making sense to you out to be crazy well I'll tell you what crazy actually is Crazy is the rap industry as we are seeing. Crazy is the movie industry as we have seen. Uh, crazy is the control and all the sexual deviancy that went on with the Jewish guy uh, through all of Hollywood and all these people. Now in the rap industry and it's in the news industry as well. Uh, in your daily news, it's everywhere. Uh, blackmail and control put you in a compromising situation. When they sit these people down and they go to hire these people, you would think that they would want to be hiring decent, good-hearted people. Uh, on the contrary, they're looking for the most deviant types that they can get. Hence, non-talented Skeletor man is made out to be a handsome, cool guy. And he looks like a walking skeleton. Uh, cheek, cheeks Moran has got cheeks that hang down to the floor uh, like balls on his face. Gets to hook up with uh, 
uh, family full of nutcases on reality TV and become uh, famous to you. And everybody looks at this highly unattractive guy as a good-looking, decent-looking guy. Uh, and it's all colors. It's all peoples it it doesn't hit i just mentioned them too because they seem right now to be the most ridiculous uh the music sucks uh even if you're if you're 13 years old right now i would say go listen to some 70s music cut this crap you got to listen to today on cut the radio on and just level it out in your head uh Great, wonderful, productive, good music. A bunch of computer synthesized people shouting at a microphone. And you go figure. So we would tell people just to open the mind and look. Now, uh, as I brought up with the AIDS whore, because I called her an AIDS whore, and I meant it, uh, Madonna. Uh, there's no telling what she's been walking around with over the years. That's why I called her that. I grew up in the 80s when that dreadful disease was coming out. And it killed a lot of people. And uh, I still use it as a derogatory d remark, and I'll continue to do so. It's as simple as that. It's not another human being that's going to tell me how I'm going to talk. Uh, even up to lose and losing my freedom, I will lose it. Uh, if you want a good, a great story to look at in boxing, where a great harm and a great travesty of justice befell on someone. Uh, look no further than Tommy Morrison. Uh, he gets diagnosed. It, it really, there's no diagnosis. Uh, they can't find the... There's not one document printed where it says he has HIV or AIDS. That he's carrying the HIV virus. But in 96, he, the Nevada... State Athletic Commission is using Quest Diagnostics. Everybody's using Quest today. Uh, and Tommy Morrison's career gets ruined. They tell him he has AIDS. Uh, he gets a few more AIDS tests after that. He wants to confirm that he's got it, as anybody would. Uh, because back then, it was just a teetotal death sentence for you. I mean, there was... No options. People were not living when they caught this thing. And uh, the test that would come back to him and the figures that would be in the envelopes, you know, we still had U.S. mail back then, uh, or on the doctor's computers, were saying, yes, 97% uh, accuracy due to uh, past test results. And the past test result never showed him positive. So he was going in saying, I've been diagnosed with AIDS. I need uh, another test. And I believe he got two more tests. And they both showed up positive. But the thing is, is every time he was ever injured later in life, moving through life, and most importantly, when he died, there was no HIV. There was no AIDS. There was nothing, none of it. Uh, he had been tested before and was doing it anonymously and things like this. You just have to go look yourself. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, so I may get a little bit of this wrong. But the bottom line is you can easily see Tommy Morrison never had HIV. That never should have happened. That never should have happened. Uh, Morrison was a wild guy. He was promiscuous, but uh, he didn't have AIDS. And he was a hard worker. And uh, they put up pictures to show you. But And there's one famous picture, and he looks like, boy, he's on death's bed going into jail here. It was the outtake picture. It was not his mugshot going in jail. He looked great going in jail. 
he had got bitten by a spider, as best they can tell. If it wasn't a spider, it was another type of insect. And it swelled all up and it went into his lungs. And he lost 50 or 60 pounds uh, the few months he was in jail. And the exit pitcher, which I've never known tell of an exit pitcher coming out of jail, they probably took one on him to show, see, he's still living. Uh, they wouldn't let him seek uh, medical attention. And other than getting him to pay $5 for a, a Tylenol through the commissary, he never had no medicine because they wouldn't let him see a doctor or send a doctor to him or take him to a hospital. So he had no medical attention with that huge infection going through him for like three months. And he lost down to 60 pounds. And he does look like an AIDS patient in that outtake jail picture. But you guys should just go and look. And what I'm telling you is just start investigating everything. Just start investigating everything. Uh, you know, we have the Van Allen belt around uh, the outer atmosphere. Uh, you know, once you go through into space, you get space shuttles and things up. Uh, they did altitude tests on the space shuttles and went into deeper and deeper uh, what, what you'd call space. And they're freaking out. The people in these things are seeing all these lights floating. And they had to bring the shuttles down. These shuttles were constructed hundreds of times uh, more strong and with more radiation shielding and all of that than any of the Gemini or Apollo capsules. NASA came out, I believe it was now we're about six years ago, maybe eight years ago, and they put up a public information video stating we have, uh, we're going to try to go back to the moon and on in the future go to Mars, yet we have never got a human past the James Van Allen belt. Uh, which is the radiation belt that you have to go through. And they just openly admit they've never got a human through that, and they need to figure out a way to construct something that will shield that kind of grand atomic-like, nuclear-like radiation. And they don't have it. NASA has stated they lost all the math and all the, everything that pertained to going to the moon, all that information they lost. Uh, how do you, what? And it's because I, I, I do believe machinery had landed on the moon, but I don't believe a man has gotten past that radiation belt. And if one ever did, it was not in one of those Gemini or Apollo uh, rockets uh, or capsules. It's just no way. It's not possible. You can't take aluminum and aluminum full and think you're going to shield uh, radiation. 55 million times more powerful than what's going on inside a microwave oven. You, you can't do it. So the more you open your eyes up and you start thinking and you start looking, but even when you look into the moon thing, you start seeing a lot of idiot, idi idiocracy coming in there. And they're trying to make the people that are making perfect sense uh openly examining did we or did we not go and the, they throw the crazy in there and that's what pulls you back from uh, seeing the reality of what we've been fooled by through this propaganda not to mention you know you go look at 9-11 on 9-10 2001 Donald Rumsfeld, the defense secretary, gets up and gives a speech and says, we've got $10 trillion missing that's not accountable for uh, in the Pentagon. 
on 9 11 2001 the attacks you so just start looking god bless you all hope everybody has a great easter but start using your, what free time you have that, you, that when you have some extra time instead of it being on video games instead of it being on crazy movies take a portion of that time and uh start looking at uh some of these conspiracies and uh, broaden your mind look around to what's going on around you uh, just take a look around so uh, in the combat community uh, boxing and MMA uh, uh, there are more people in our community that do have their eyes open and are looking uh, and I'm thankful to the good Lord for that and uh, so this video is just to suggest you, you look more. Uh, if you haven't been looking, start looking at what's going on around you because most of what you are seeing, most of what you are taught uh, from cradle to grave is lies, is lies. And I'm going to tell you the only book that you can look at and believe with supreme confidence is a King James Bible. Uh, and I'll go further. A King James Bible or the earlier manuscripts of the Hebrew Old Testament and the Greek New Testament. And if you do that, uh, it's the only books that really have lined up and lined up and lined up over thousands of years. Every word said... Uh, don't look at these new translations because they're trying to lie to you about that. Uh, they, they are miscuing the Bible to say a lot of sexually deviant, deviant things are okay and normal. Uh, and they take the man with man out and just put prostitute in and interject. And there's so many more things. So look at an older Bible. Don't get into none of this new stuff. You are, you are being hit from every angle. Every time you turn the Science Channel on, the Discovery Channel, the History Channel, you are getting fed manure. And mo in most cases, you're lapping it up. So be careful out there. Much love to you all. God bless you all.